Hey all, and welcome to Real Early Britain. Folks, tonight we've got another beer for you. And this one again comes from Lizard Eels. And it's their Lizard Bitter, coming in at 4.2% ABV. I've just had a beer from this brewery, and it was uh, very, very sessionable, and well hopped. So I'm really looking forward to trying this one. Um, this is bottle conditioned. So it is a beautiful, beautiful... Um, it's not, and there's a little bit of smokiness, if you can see, just pouring out the top there. So, as always, let's go straight in with the pour. So this beer is pouring a nice deep burnt orange colour with good carbonation. It has a three finger head, which is just off white in colour. But look at that, folks, look at the colour on that bad boy. You can see the carbonation streaming up there. But that is burnt orange, nice little bit of brownness to it as well. Boy, I'm going straight in with the nose. First thing you pick up, again, is wonderful citrus notes. Um, there's oranges, there's satsumas. You're also picking up golden syrup. There's light caramel uh, toffee. There's like buttered tiger bread. You're getting earthiness of like um, autumnal leaves. And there's that deep, um, it's like uh, red apples. Um, as soon as they've been peeled, you get that kind of, um, you get that sweetness of the, of the, or of the apple peel. Um, but then you get like a, a sharp smell of the actual fresh apple itself. Very good. I'm going straight in. Cheers. Okay. So the first thing is you get this very, very deep maltiness. There is digestive biscuits. There's wheat crackers. There's burnt caramelised oranges. Um, there's a light buttery note. There's lemons. There's batch brown bread. And then what's starting to develop is that earthiness of... Um, like Fuggles hops. Um, and that's really starting to dominate now. And it's the earthiness which is giving this beer that bit of a kick. There's also a little bit of um, flat leaf parsley. There's wheat present which is leaving again that oiliness in the inside of the palate. Body wise in this beer. The beer... It's perfect for 4.2%. The only criticism I would give it is that it's over carbonated. The first beer was spot on. I think this is too gassy um, as it takes away from the malt and the hops. Um, and it's, you know, you want the malts and the hops to kind of intercept each other. But actually with the carbonation, it's really dividing them. Okay, so what's the finish like? The finish is malty, earthy, peppery, which leads to an autumnal, autumn, grassy, leafy bitterness. What do I give Lizard Eels for their Lizard Bitter coming in at 4.2%? Folks, to me, this one's just okay. Um, it's a 6 out of 10, a 6 out of 10. That's Real Little Britain doing a review on Lizard's Bitter from Lizard Eels at 4.2%. Cheers. Slamacara.